kid and welcome to Kid Time Storytime. I feel like with a title like this, the book doesn't even need an introduction. What if, or maybe it does, what if you ate all the cookies that Abuela just made? Well, Green Bear, you actually did that? And it was terrible! And imagine, what if everybody ate all the cookies that their Abuela just made? That would be terrible because the rest of us also like cookies and it would be a very sad day. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. I, I forgave you. Thank you. You're the best friend ever, Duck and Dinosaur. But then what if? What if? What if you shared all the cookies that your abuela made with all your friends? That would be an awesome day. Yes. So if you're going to do something, make sure that if everybody did it, Everybody, including you and Green Bear and me, Dog the Dinosaur. That it would be a good thing if everybody did it. Thank you, thank you. Do you think there are cookies around here? There are always cookies somewhere. Are you going to still read the book, Storyteller? Well, I, I feel like the lesson has already been imparted, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and read it anyway since I got it. Can I sit with you while you read it? Of course. Get in here and get all snuggly. Yes. Okay. So what if everybody did that? Already we see the pictures that tell a thousand words happening right here. We see that the kid is just boom, tossing out trash everywhere and leaving an angry dog and a... And uh, this poor girl who was meditating and getting all zen in the in the garden get a piece of trash on top of her. Not cool, kid. Not cool at all. Oh, you saw that I ch I checked this one out of the library, and because that's one of my favorite places to discover new books. And away we go. When we went to the zoo, I fed just a little of my popcorn to the bear. Hey! The zookeeper waved his broom and said, what if everybody did that? Oh, what if everybody fed a little bit of something to the bears, non-bear food, human food, like, like T-bone steaks and donuts and pizza and ice cream and cheese and hamburgers and cookies and apples and bananas and watermelons. Oh my, not to mention that delicious looking piece of blueberry pie, which should be fed to somebody like a storyteller, not to a bear. Well, looks like what happens is they get fat, they get unhealthy, they get sick because they're not supposed to eat that. I just wanted to see how fast a grocery cart would go. It went faster than I expected. When the manager stopped me, she said, what if everybody did that? Well, what if everybody did that? Oh, everything would be flying and people would be getting hurt and hit accidentally and there would be accidents and angry people and flying food and 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 all the work that the manager did making that beautiful sack of cans would be ruined and and there would be panic oh that would not be pretty if everybody did that on the way to visit grandma and grandpa in kansas hey kansas that's where, uh, you know, where uh, Dorothy and Toto live. I dropped just one soda can out the window. Oh no, that's, that's trashing our earth. The patrolman, woo, 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 who pulled us over, woo, woo, said, what if everybody did that? Oh, and mom and dad are looking mortified. That's a fancy word for horrified, which is a fancy word for Ugh, not happy. And what if everybody did that? That's exactly what it would look like. Look at the poor deer and, and the raccoon and the rabbit and all the animals are just, they're, all their fields are just trashed and you're driving down instead of seeing the beautiful scenic routes along the way and the green grasses and the open prairies. All you see is trash, making the earth a giant trash can. That's a no-go. At Uncle William's wedding, oh no, I took just a little lick of the frosting from the fancy cake. Ugh. The lady behind the table glared at me over her glasses and said, what if everybody did that? Oh, well that would be disgusting. Everybody would have taken a little lick and ruined it so that then nobody even wants an official big slice because it's it's been all licked up and messed up on the outside and it looks ugly and the groom fell off and the, and the bride went head first into the little glop and the bottom tier. Oh no, that's just rude. I 
told the babysitter that I took a bath just once a year. As she shooed me into the bathroom, she said, what if everybody did that? Well, if everybody did that, look at this smudgy family portrait. Everybody's dirty. And let's just, let's just say that be glad that this is not smell vision That's all I got to say about that. During school, during kid time, story time, I had something important to say. No, not time. I just couldn't wait till the end of the story. No, it's not time. The librarian put her finger to her lips and said, Psh, what if everybody did that? I gotta go potty. Why can't we read one of those other books? I already heard this one. Shh, I'm hungry. My mom said that recycling is a very good thing. And then in my house and then once upon a time, how much do you weigh? Oh, hey, look at me. I can touch my toes. See? No story time. Story time would be ruined. Ruined. And you know, kid time, story time is sacred time around here. While we sat in the car waiting for dad, I honked the horn. Oh boy. I just honked a few times, but Mr. Thompson came to his door. He shook his head and said, what if everybody did that? Oh, well, that noise. No, people would wake up from naps. Babies would wake up and start screaming. You'd have no peace of mind. You couldn't read a book. You couldn't finish your homework in peace. You'd get a headache. You'd get cranky. Everybody would have a headache and be cranky. The world would be a most unpleasant place. This is awful. At the swimming pool, I just splashed a little. The lifeguard blew his whistle and said, hey, what if everybody did that? Oh, if everybody splashed a little, well, there wouldn't be much pool left to splash in, now would there? All the water would be on the outside. And then what's the point of having a pool? Don't dive. It looks like a steep fall. On the bus, I just stood up to see the fire truck. Mr. Gear shift, that's him right there, very appropriately named, glared at me in the rear view mirror and said, what if everybody did that? Sit down, sit down. Oh, if everybody did that, whoa, dangerous. We don't want dangerous. Just once, I didn't hang my coat on the rack at school. Miss Sanders made me pick it up and said, now, what if everybody did that? Well, you'd be drowning in a sea of coats now, wouldn't you, kid? No place to play. Can't find your coat. Probably other kids are stepping on it. It's getting filthy, dirty. Your nice new coat would look old and ratty and get smelly. And ugh. At recess, oh boy, he's just one <clears throat> bad example after another. At recess, I threw just one snowball at Sammy. Mr. Walter saw me when he sent me to stand by the wall. He said, what if everybody did that? Well, as you could see, there would be children crying from getting eyeballs full of snow and ice and kids would be wet and they'd probably get sick and they'd probably get hurt and it might be a little fun for a minute, but eventually it would end in chaos. When we went out for dinner, oh uh, well, I mean, unless it's like purposefully a snowball fight and then you're just doing it for a little while, but not like to hit somebody in the back of the head like that when you're not playing and it's unexpected. Not cool right there, not cool. But if you do it like as a game and everybody's playing and it's for fun, that's different. Ambush, different. When we went out for dinner, I just shot one straw wrapper. <laughs> the waitress stopped taking our order and looked straight at me. She said, what if everybody did that? Oh boy, you, you, you don't want to upset your waitress. I'm telling you now, kid, learn the lesson early. If everybody did that, well, you'd have paper in your food and in your drinks, wouldn't you? And I don't know, doesn't sound that delicious to me. After the football game, I just ran on the field to get the quarterback's autograph and the official waved his arm and said, what if everybody did that? Well then, it would have looked like, like, like some games I've actually seen. So, you know, that's a little chaotic. It happens. Championship games, I guess, is the exception that it's okay. When I came home, I gave my mom a hug. Now, what if everybody did that? Oh, yeah. Now that's the kind of stuff you want to spread. The love. Because everybody should. Hug, 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 hug. And you spread the love. And I guess when the game's like if it's a special event, but not like you're sneaking on and nobody else is there. Uh, food fights. 
I don't know. It really depends. You certainly don't want to do it at a fancy restaurant with your parents and you don't want to do it in the school cafeteria. You will get in trouble. Now, if your parents say you can have one, totally different. And if you want to walk around smelling like a monster, ooh, well, good luck keeping your friends. So now you have learned a little something. So if you're going to do something that you want everybody else to do, make sure that it is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, like, like sharing cookies and, and sharing hugs and being helpful. Like, oh, oh, I got a new one. I got a good one. What is it, Green Bear? Yeah, what is it? Uh, well, what if, like, you see that kid trashing up the, the, the yard there? Yes, that is not a good thing. What if, instead of trashing it, you see you pick up a piece of trash and, and you pick it up? Oh, and if everybody did that, then the world would be a beautiful, clean place. Yes, like that storyteller? Like that. See you next time, kid, on... You guys want to do it? Yeah, 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 on Kid Time! Story time! We did a good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if everybody did a good job, that would be awesome. Yes, yes, absolutely awesome.